Bucky Hanma vs Kenga Nashura crossover is coming out soon and we will see some of the long-awaited fights, the fights the whole fandom was dreaming about. But in this video let's talk about one particular battle between the strongest man in the Kure family, Ryan, against the man who attained the ultimate physique, a biting cyborg Jack Hanma. Let's examine their battle in sheer battle stats of each dude. First of all, their size. Ryan is 188 cm tall and 94 kg. If Jack will be after his second limb lengthening surgery after his defeat to Pickle, he will be 243 cm in high with a weight of about 210 kilos. But even before the second surgery, Jack was 210 cm tall, so in both cases the size difference is too big. But we learned after the Usyk vs Fury fight that uh, the size does not matter and Ryan still can easily win. Now let's compare their fighting stats like uh, strength, stamina, speed, technique and battle IQ. 100 will be the top level. Ryan is an absolute physical powerhouse uh, and he takes full advantage of it uh, with his ferocious fighting style. He is also one of a handful of Kure clan members in its history to have achieved the rare 100% removal rating. The ability to consciously remove the brain limits on an individual's muscular strength output. As such, while regular humans are naturally unable to access more than 30% of their body's muscular strength, the Kure clan members can access a greater amount of their latent muscular strength and Ryan is the best user of it, uh, managing to use 100%. Though Ryan is still immensely powerful without it. Kano Agito notes uh, that Ryan is one of two people who could match Takeshi in terms of strength, uh, the other being Julius Reinhold. And these two guys are insanely muscular and big, just like Jack. His strikes are described to be extremely heavy, only being outclassed by Wakatsuki's in terms of raw power according to Oma. So I can safely assume that his strength is at a very high level even though he is not really big in size. Jack Hanma is a monster in terms of physical strength, his strength is shown many times in this story. He killed the polar bear with his bare fists or defeated Sikorsky with a punch so strong that he lifted the telephone box there were in. Also, he fought Pickle, a dude who was hunting and eating freaking dinosaurs. He is a huge and terribly strong monster. Jack's body is strong enough to suppress drugs, even though he used abnormal amounts of them. Due to his super steroids, Jack tends to fight like a rabbit animal and has severed determination to finish fight through to the end, which proves this even farther. His great determination and ferocity in battle allow Jack to continue fighting even after suffering serious injuries, such as when he broke his right arm in the fight against Bucky and when he had part of his face ripped off by Pickle. Ryan is extremely durable and has a staggeringly huge level of endurance, suffering only minor outward damage during his fight with Mokichi Robinson. Later during his fight with Tokita Oma, he was able to absorb a truly astounding amount of damage and easily return the favor, even after the later used the advance. He was capable of surviving several direct hits from bladed weapons and even got pierced in the shoulder by a crossbow bolt yet none of those attacks significantly damaged him. Tapping into his removal allows him to absorb even more punishment seeing how he managed to withstand and even overwhelmed Oma in a berserker state from fully being consumed by advance. However, Ryan would not come out of that uh, slugfest unharmed. Not much to say, Jack is not really fast before he learned Godo, not even seeing Pickle's moves at some mm -hmm. point, and uh, to be fair, he never showed much speed feats. Jack is about going head to head with his opponent, uh, not about running around. Ryan looks like uh, a much faster guy with his removal, he was uh, running around the arena like a speedster.
Ryan usually prefers to fight with brute force, largely owing to his violent psychopathy he is also more than happy to fight dirty, but as Kure, Ryan is a powerful martial artist who has mastered the wide range of martial arts incorporated into the Kure clan. To that end, he is well aware of the practices, techniques and capabilities of a vast number of martial arts styles and how to counter and exploit them. Even though he rarely uses his arsenal of techniques, he still is insanely skilled. Despite using brute force to fight, Jack is very tactical fighter and is smart enough to counter and outmaneuver his opponents. He found the weakness of Aiki after being thrown many times and used a similar move to defeat Goki Shibukawa. During his fight with Pickle, Jack tried to strike his middle fingers into Pickle's ears, piercing his brain. But his main technique is biting. Later in the series, he becomes a professor in biting science, but at the time of his upcoming fight with Ryan, he is still learning, but even so, his bite is an incredibly powerful weapon. In most of his fights, Jack does not show much technique skills in martial arts, except for some I talked about above, but he has potential. Jack's intelligence is relatively average, also he has shown himself to be a slightly bit of a combat genius from time to time, as he was able to counter Shibukawa's Aiki, that is likely due to his lineage as a Hanma and being the son of Yujiro Hanma. You can say it by his appearance, but Ryan is pretty smart, being able to master a wide range of Japanese martial arts that have been incorporated into the Kure clan and being able to use removal at 100%. As we can see, Ryan is winning in most stats, but in a real fight stats do not matter, one good bite to Ryan's neck and Jack will be the winner. What do you think about this fight? Who will be the winner? Leave your comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe for more if this video was interesting to you. Thank you all for watching. See you soon. I'm out. Bye. I'll respect you by killing you with all I've got. Mm, it's magnificent. The man travel for any trip In a seat of corruption, me say me seat Look like from corruption, they not benefit